So the 2018 Royal Rumble is one for the history books. And it was a big night. Was it a big good night or a big bad night? Honestly, the real truth is, it depends on your perspective. Because based off of what I have seen, the reaction to the show has been very split, and I totally get it. I did not like it. I thought the show mostly sucked. I thought Ronda Rousey's debut was particularly horribly botched. Other people did not. Cool. Whatever. We can all just agree to disagree and move the hell on. Now, it does bring up a bigger issue that contrary to the popular opinion, it seems like, and the belief that many of you seem to have, I do not come on here intentionally trying to be negative or wanting to be negative all the time. That is foolishness. I would love nothing more than the vast majority of my videos to be positive. I would love nothing more to just have a light-hearted, good old-fashioned, good time, talk about wrestlings on the dub of dub of E's. I would love nothing more than that. But that said, I can't just lie to myself and pretend something is good when it's not. Maybe other people can. Maybe other people just aren't as cynical about it and find easier paths to enjoyment. Great. I wish I could get that enlightenment. I'm just not going to. It is what it is. So... As I woke up Monday morning, still kind of stewing over the rumble, thinking about it was a show I ultimately, regardless of whether you agree with me or not, it was a show that I personally did not enjoy, that I thought largely stunk, and took up four hours on my Sunday night. So I'm looking for a positive. And by God, I got that positive Monday morning when I flipped open the laptop, when I logged into the social media, and saw the announcement that the WWE has signed Jonathan Coachman. Oh, baby, the coach is back. That's exciting. And not only that, not only is the coach back in WWE, he's going to be joining the Raw commentary team, replacing Booker T starting Monday night, tonight. I'm pumped. I'm excited. Now, don't get me wrong. Coach is not the greatest commentator of all time. But there is something to be said about somebody who's been there before, done it before. Then he goes off to ESPN, where I thought he was a pretty effective studio host for several years. Clearly still has a passion for professional wrestling and the WWE product. I look at this and say, one of the biggest negatives, specifically with Raw every week, and I feel like SmackDown as well when you watch, and even the most positive of fans I think generally agree, the commentary absolutely sucks. The emotion is flat to lackadaisical. The effort put forward is mostly lackadaisical. The lines that the guys are fed from the gorilla position are usually brutal to awful. And they don't do a good job of telling the story, capturing the moment, and getting across what they need to to the television audience. Well, my hope and my belief is, is that Jonathan Coachman will be a step in the right direction. Now, I'm not necessarily pleased that Booker T is getting kicked off the commentary team because regardless of what anybody else thinks, I happen to enjoy him sometimes because he's kind of off the cuff. He really is off the rails, doesn't know what the hell he's talking about half the time. And it brings a little spontaneity to the show that, frankly, I feel like the WWE needs when it comes to Raw. Because the rest of the time, listening to the other dopes, it's just dopey horse crap. And I don't think Coach is going to bring us dopey horse crap. Now, is he going to be the color guy, the play-by-play -play guy, kind of a hybrid with him and Cole there? Who knows? We'll find out. Is he going to come back and be heel coach? Is he going to be babyface coach? Is he going to be tweener coach? I don't know. And the truth is, right now, I don't particularly care. That we can find out in due time. I just see this as the WWE realizing that something was screwed up, that something wasn't working, and that something needed to change. And while Coach isn't the be-all, end-all, he is potentially the beginning of change we can believe in. So yes, I'm pumped. I'm happy. The Coach is back, baby. I never thought I'd be doing a video. Marking out for Jonathan Coachman. But lo and behold, here we are. The wacky world that is professional wrestling. The coach is back, baby. And I, for one, am excited and can't wait to see what he brings to the Raw commentary team starting this week.
should be fun, and most definitely will be interesting. Let's hope he can deliver, and I sure as hell hope he can deliver. Now if we could do something about getting Corey Graves off of commentary, things might really pick up. Uh-oh. Everybody's triggered now. Doc.